Um, I guess where we started off was, as you might expect, just thinking about the things that we could work with, what would be the medium. If we were going to impose constraints, what would it be? Um, so we came across, you know, we came up with things like affect and emotions and tension or um, gesture and those things that might otherwise allow us to communicate. Um, where do we end then? Then we try to think, okay, what would be, what kind of instructions would we use? Um, I guess the thing that, I guess what, I, I mean, you might want to contest this. Um, other members of the group, but I guess what was instructive about what we did today was the, the ways in which we failed, I guess. Um, the ways in which we, we seem to have the sticking point about assigning a task. Um, what was it that we would get our organism or entity to do? Um, and we never really seemed to, to pin that down. Um, in the end, however, um, we started to settle around um, very kind of basic instructions and how they might be graphically represented. Um, so we came up with this, um, which was a means for, well, we were using these cards as you did next door, and um, really as a means to. to put together different sets of instructions that we would then somehow use in order to come up with this drawing. Um, that drawing was then going to be, and we didn't get this far, um, or we only just got this far, um, the basis, a kind of notation, I guess, for a, a series of actions that we might then perform. Um, there could have been musical, there was also an idea that um, at one point that this would be like a map for a particular terrain, um, which would give us uh, at least the beginning to the scenario. Um, yeah, I don't know if, if my fellow members want to add to that. Um, <laughs> we didn't get very far, basically. We spent a very long time trying to negotiate goals yeah. versus the versus process. And then thinking about language and uh, bits of unlanguage, which is how we wound up with this very basic set of like this mm. intruder element that actually belongs to that set. But um, this very basic system of marking and even when we came to doing that, it became clear that we thought differently about what that the most rudimentary system might fit, whether it's a sort of bounded figure or a straight on mark. So that was actually, yeah, I mean, sure. actually, that was very instructive. It was, yeah. I mean, yeah. When we finally got to, to the position where we were able to perform something like this, even though it's, you know, relatively basic, um, I think a lot of those questions began to be clarified, at least. Yeah, it's true. Um, I think it was really interesting how we were continually um, kind of struggling, either having too many restrictions and too many laws, or having total freedom and like free association. And I think trying to kind of balance that out and create an organism where there's, I don't know, there's a balanced system of, of laws and freedom is what made the whole task really difficult and challenging and exciting. And also just, I remember like talking about whether we're trying to create an organism that that um, creates a new space within a space or tries to escape the space with which it's in and like that, how that defines the whole kind of nature of it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that was interesting parts too. Great. That's all through, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah.